Palpatine's true power in canon has finally been revealed. So for the longest time now, we've always speculated as to why Vader was so submissive to the Emperor when we watch Return of the Jedi when he says this. You don't know the power of the dark side. I must obey my master. And for the longest time, we've always speculated that Vader's suit was susceptible to force lightning and that Palpatine had always held this power over Vader that he always had to submit to. But thanks to Darth Vader 2020 issue number 11, we finally have a definitive canon answer as to why this happens and also a display of Palpatine's true power. So minor spoilers for Darth Vader issue number 11. I'm only going to be talking about a few key details from the comic and I won't go into much of the story. So if you're not familiar with Darth Vader 2020, the timeline of this comic is in between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, right after his encounter with Luke on Bespin. And after Vader's encounter with Luke on Bespin, he's beginning to have doubts about his master, doubts about his loyalty to said master. And of course, in order to assuage all of those doubts, Palpatine puts him in his place drops him off on Mustafar and begins to test Vader in ways that no one could ever imagine. Fast forward to issue number 11 and Vader has found Exegol and he is now ready to confront Palpatine. And of course, wouldn't you know it, this is also a confirmation of Vader's power as he takes a kaiju-sized Summa Verminoth from the Red Nebula and bends it to his will. He then rides said Summa Verminoth to his master to challenge him. And just for some perspective, this is what a Summa Verminoth looks like in live action. And this is where things get super crazy. Palpatine is prepared for this. He brings out some crab-like monsters. We don't really know what species these are yet, but they are comparable in size to the Summa Verminoth and a kaiju battle ensues. Of course, the Summa Verminoth prevails, but that doesn't scare Palpatine in the slightest. As he says in this panel, there's nothing that he can do that he hasn't prepared for. So what does Palpatine do in response? He force grips this Summa Verminoth and proceeds to destroy it. Vader is stunned, he's shocked, he can't believe what just happened because he thought he was ready to challenge Palpatine and he had this big monster on his side and Palpatine just force gripped it and caused it to implode on itself. And this is the biggest thing in terms of force power or force feats that we've seen from Palpatine in canon. And I do want to emphasize that this force feat does now put him on parody with Yoda in the Star Wars 2015 comic where Yoda lifted a mountain sized giant. So if there were any doubts about Palpatine's true power or the power he held over Vader before Return of the Jedi, this clears things up. And of course, skipping through all the story spoilers, we do have this panel where Palpatine is saying, hey, I have this power over you and you can't do anything about it. And the biggest thing for Vader coming out of this comic is that he has resolved that he is no longer Palpatine's master. But of course, after this display of power, after all of this pain and anguish and fear being instilled into Vader from Palpatine is fully manifested, Palpatine asks again, have you made your decision? And lo and behold, Vader does make his choice. He says, yes, my master. And this kind of cements this decades old speculation as to how Palpatine has made Vader submit to him all this time. It goes back to this quote. I must obey my master. Not only does this make Vader a more interesting and more fleshed out character, but it also lends credence to the fact that the conflict was always there. The good that Luke was seeing in him was always there. But when we replay that scene over and over again, after having read this issue, we do know that indeed he must obey Palpatine. Anyways, that'll do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and I hope I encourage you to start reading the comics because the comics are some of the best Star Wars out there. And we have some huge events coming down the pipeline with War of the Bounty Hunters, which is going to cross over with Star Wars 2020, Darth Vader 2020, Dr. Aphra, Bounty Hunters, and of course, in its own comic run, War of the Bounty Hunters, which is going to bring back dirge. But in any case, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new to this channel. And if you didn't know, this channel is all about celebrating Star Wars and moving forward with Star Wars. But yeah, that's the end. On to the next one. We are all the Republic for the light and life. May the force be with you.